welcome back to the Kethmet program. We are kicking off a new theme called the sin cycle. How do you fall into the sin cycle? How does sin start? If you want to learn more on, on this topic, you can stay tuned as we start off by reading our verse for today. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drags us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions, and when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. James 1 verse 14 to 15. It starts off with our desire. When we look into where sin started, when Adam and Eve um, had uh, the first time committed sin, they had the desire of their own. They had a desire on wanting to eat from that fruit. When you respond into your desire of sin, um, when I want to um, have something and I believe that I am entitled to it, I take it. Um, this is how when I respond on my emotions, um, on my feelings, this is where sin starts. This is things that, what are your desires? What are the things? If it's pride, if it's uh, jealousy, if it's envy, it makes us one. It, it brings us that we are not content on what God wants us to be. What, when we are angry or upset, um, sin starts with what goes on in my heart, what I want. Um, this is how the verse says that it's it's almost like where sins uh, crawl up to you and that desire that you have and you respond on it. Um, we, on a daily basis, struggle with sin. But the thing is, before, when we respond on what our desires, um, this is showing that I am in control, that I want to respond to it. And this... But when, so when we when we respond onto what I want, um, this goes into sin. And sometimes, like Adam and Eve, like they had one sin. They wanted to, uh, they committed sin, and then they wanted to cover it up, a lie, or maybe with hiding, or maybe with um, other sorts of of sin so the problem is that when we think about the cycle of of sin it's starting with my desire what i want how um that that feeling within and when i commit it i feel guilty and i want to cover it up so when i cover it up it becomes a next sin um and this makes when you you feel you isolate yourself you um take your you it's almost like you you put on this wall where you want to protect yourself. Mostly when we isolate ourselves, like Adam and, Adam and Eve, when they went into the garden and hid themselves with the fig leaves, they wanted to cover up their shame. Um, and when we are in sin, we cover it up. We want to hide. We want to, it's almost like we want to hide from God. We want to hide from others because it sometimes feels like everybody can see what's going on um in my heart and then we cannot take this 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 heaviness of our heart anymore god convicts us of our sin he asks us where are you what are you doing um why are you so far away and then he comes closer um and then it convicts us and then we try to uh we want to come forward, but then you still feel so guilty and you hear that God has forgiven you, but then you you commit another sin because it feels like um, if you realize that you are too weak and you don't deserve this forgiveness and you commit another sin or you go back to that old sin or you go back to that one thing that, that always tried to linger you in again and then um, God comes confront you again of your sin and you repent and you come closer to him we want to be go looked for everybody if you dumped or if you uh, missing you want people to look for you and this is what God does every time that you are missing when you isolate yourself you go you get far away and God sees it and he wants you to come closer and he does it by 
by walking closer, by asking where are you. He he uses people to to convict you. When you are stuck in sin, you don't want to um, be reminded of your sin all, all the time. You don't want to put yourself in a position where it's family members asking where were you, what did you do, where's where is your boyfriend or where is your girlfriend? And this confronts us with with the sin. This confronts us with what we are we are hiding, and this makes us that we want to hide. Um, we need to know that we are part of a cycle, sin cycle, but we are not. We we're not caught in the cycle anymore because of Jesus Christ. But our daily lives makes us fall back into the same cycle but the, the enemy wants to lie to us that we are still caught in it but jesus freed us he broke the cycle he made it a straight line where our journey and in, in him it, it's becoming better every day it's the desire that we have we need to realize what it is so that we can notice on how um, find ways in in reaching that um, this is how we know that if it's my desire that I want to we need to to realize that it's not about my will anymore it's not about what I want but about what Jesus Christ has has already done for us um, and it's about becoming more like him and so it's his desire for us.